Hello, Jacob here, live from Taipei, and today we're going to be delving into AMD's Computex Keynote and all the products that you guys have been waiting for for a very long time. The good doctor, AMD CEO, Dr. Lisa Su, opened the show talking about Epic and the new seven nanometer Rome parts that are coming out in Q3. But forget all that, because they actually talked about AMD Navi very shortly after. Yes, AMD have actually talked about their next generation graphics cards via the official channels, and so we don't have to go scouring through their trash to find any little tidbit to write about. AMD Navi graphics cards will be the first to use the 5000 series branding, which is a nod to their 50th anniversary which just passed a few weeks back, and they will also be the first to get rid of the GCN architecture in a long while, instead replaced by the RDNA architecture. Yes, the new architecture introduces a new compute unit design, a new multi-level cache hierarchy, and a new streamlined graphics pipeline. And AMD reckons it can reduce the latency, increase bandwidth, and lower the power demands for its new graphics cards with that new design. So far, the company has only announced the 5700, but it reckons that card can defeat Nvidia's RTX 2070 in Strange Brigade by about 10%. So in most games, it's probably going to be around about the same level of performance. AMD was a little light on the details when it came to AMD Navi, but it has promised to shed more light on the upcoming graphics card architecture at E3 at its next Horizon gaming event, which is on June 10th at 3pm Pacific time. And then on to the main event, Ryzen 3000 CPUs, which will launch on July 7th, 2019. Who saw that coming? At launch, games can get their hands on the Ryzen 7 3800X, 3700X, Ryzen 5 3600X, and Ryzen 5 3600, and also the brand new Ryzen 9 3900X, a whopping 12-core, 24-thread monster. AMD's prepping this top tier of chip to take on Intel's Core i9 range, and it reckons that its 3.8 GHz base clock and 4.6 GHz boost clock is going to be just the ticket to do so. That top chip will cost you $499, with the 3800X costing you $399. The 3600X and 3600 are roughly the same price point as their forebears. And remember, AMD Navi and AMD Ryzen 3000 will both be PCI 4.0 compatible, which doubles the bandwidth of PCI 3.0 devices. And luckily, a ton of motherboard manufacturers are out here in Taipei to show you all the new X570 motherboards that you'll be able to build your system around. Well, thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments below if you think AMD's got what it takes to dethrone Intel on the CPU throne. There's going to be some interesting comments there. Give us a like, subscribe, and check out PCGamesEnd.com for more coverage from Computex and all that other gaming stuff that's not very important. See you next time.